Hey YouTube, Space Monkeys here again. This time I have a couple new creations to show off. Alright, so the first thing I want to show you guys is this is a uh, new design for one of my previous creations. Uh, the previous creation being this Minecraft double track T intersection changer, if I can adjust the window to the record size. There you go. Uh, this one. This is another one of my videos. But uh, in this new one, it's a much smaller version and it uses pistons. And so, in general, the way it works is, is you have uh, four lanes of traffic, and so that would be an outgoing and an incoming from each point um, or base or whatever you have at the end of these. Um, how do you sort traffic at a four-way intersection? Um, now this does two things. First is it alleviates people crashing because, well, I mean, it's sorting the traffic. And second would be is it actually saves you a lot of rail. The reason behind this is because you don't need a multiple destination selection when you can do that at the intersections. And the multiple destination selectors are going to end up wasting track because you're going to have to lay track between every single destination, not just between every single uh, intersection. And the intersections allow you just to connect all of the destinations with less track. Alright, so, how this works. Um, let's say we've got two or three people. Uh, let's just go with two. On this intersection changer. And uh, they have two options. They can either choose to turn right, which clicking this button right here will push this piston. And by the way, I'm using a sticky piston because I was informed that they're like half a tick faster. Although, really, you can use whatever you want. It's irrelevant. Um, anyways, you push this, and you can see it launches them down this direction, and I have it looped back, but in, uh, like a real server, you would just send it down to wherever their destination is. Um, and then if they don't click this one, then they can click the continue to next input location, and as you can tell, all of the minecarts do this, and that's key, because that keeps someone who wants to go to the next input from crashing into the other guy. And so, in general, like, you're sitting here, and you've got two other people here, and nobody says, or nobody pushes the button for the, uh, piston. And so, you guys just do that. This button right here can be a little bit tricky to push. You kind of gotta, there's a very small window where you can push it, but I haven't had a problem. Oh, right, one more thing. Um... There is no other carts left on the track because what this is, is a empty minecart sorter. Um, it stacks them all right here, and that seems kind of glitchy, but um, what it does is just sorts empty minecarts, so... Yeah. And then the second thing I wanted to show you guys is I have a 3x3 three three door here. And this 3x3 three three door, here's a button, does not open the 3x3 three three door. Although we've got a button down here attached to absolutely nothing. But this is just for display, pretend that this is a combination lock. And then I've entered the right combination in, and then we can open the door. Alright, so uh, once you walk back through here, there's only one button. And you can see there's not much guts on the uh, surface level for it. And this button controls both aspects of going up and down. And so the way this actually works, I'll try to make it sweet and short. Down here, all of the guts, um, I'll do a real quick run through of everything, just for anybody who might be interested in trying to figure it out. Uh, I will be posting this world online though, so you guys can always uh, download it and then do that. Alright, so the only thing that I really care about showing you guys is this T-flip-flop I've got right here. This is what I use as a T-flip-flop, and um, you might think uh, using a minecart could potentially be glitchy, but first off, I haven't run into any problems of this minecart getting stuck halfway between. Um, and second would be that you can actually select which buttons are capable of doing what. So, like that button you guys saw in front, it was unable to open the door. That's because I have it selected to only power that uh, track right there. And all the other buttons will power this track. 
but only this track is power. Well, no, the button above can only power this track, so that only lets you close the uh, the door. And so the door is open right now, and if I click this, it will close it. And so that's useful because if you've got a combination lock right here to get in, right, and you enter the right combination to get in, and then you do all your stuff and you know you close and you open it again you leave you don't want to re-enter the combination lock and you don't want to have a race to beat the door and you have to hit that button so you just have a button that closes the door on the outside and that makes it easy all right thanks for watching guys later